Because she's not so good in here. Yay. She is a cookbook author. She hosts Z Living Network's The Posh Pescatarian. And she is here today to show us how to make a delectable dinner for our entire family for under $10. That's right. Oh, I don't oh. believe you. Welcome, Stephanie Harris, who you Thank for you her. Thank you. Thank you. Under $10. What we're making is an Indian-inspired wild salmon and chickpea patty with the mango salsa. Oh. It smells so wow. good. We're using wow. wild salmon? We're said? using wild salmon. Could you use any other fish, or does it... You absolutely could. Okay. Mackerel would be great for this. If you prefer white fish, you can use something called sway, basa. Those are all fish you can find about under five bucks for a couple of pounds. Oh my good. Okay, oh, so yeah. let's get back to your name for a minute. The Posh Pescatarian. Yes. How does one get that moniker? Your friends <laughs> kind of give you that moniker over the years, and it kind of stuck because they wanted to connect my name with the kinds of activities I enjoy. I love fashion. I love food. I love travel. I love adventure. They all consider that to be very posh, so oh. it's stuck. Oh, what a great name. That. Thank great. you. Have Thank you been you a Pescatarian for? Years? I have been a pescatarian yeah. for about 16 years. My God. Wow. And it wasn't necessarily on purpose. I was having some digestive problems and I wasn't yeah. feeling very well. I started to get sluggish, just out of sorts. Yep. So I went to a naturopath and she put me on a cleanse, a vegetable broth for about two weeks. Wow. And we slowly started introducing things back into my diet. Like it, was pretty, it was it was a long period. I lost and a little bit of weight during that time. <laughs> 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 yeah. But we slowly started reintroducing things back into my diet, and at the end of the day, we discovered that a plant-based diet supplement it with seafood was really the way to go for me. And that's really okay. the definition of a pescatarian. Okay. Yes. Plant-based seafood. All right, well, you guys feel free to dig in. Yes. But you've been Jeez. fishing your entire life. Oh, yes. My parents and my grandparents and my it. uncles and aunts, they all fish. And it's been a really fun ride. And just recently, yeah, I oh was in Louisiana as oh, part of season see? two of my show that's on Z Living. And I got to go and oh, catch sorry. a bass. Oh, Actually, that's fun. a black drum <laughs> out in the deep delta. And that was a lot of fun. I got that fish, like, my second try. Oh, how awesome. Isn't it? Yeah. It's so it's like invigorating. It is. It's just like the sense of I, accomplishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is. I love it. Okay, let's get started. This is a sense of accomplishment too. Okay, and this is really straightforward. What we have here is cooked flaked fish. This is wild salmon. You can use fresh salmon. You can use canned salmon. That's really the way to get. I was going to ask that. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. It's okay. All right. As long as There's it's some wild. Really great canned salmon. Yeah, there is. Right. Absolutely. Yes. So we're going to add our panko breadcrumbs, which is going to give us a little bit of texture. These okay. are our chickpeas, which we chopped up just okay. a bit. And everything else is pretty straightforward. We're going to add, ask, sorry, add a little bit of parsley. Right. And this is where the Indian part comes in. What's that? This is it? a spice blend. It's sort of a masala. Mm. And what I've done is mm. add some ginger, some garlic, oh, some all good. of these really great spices. And you can customize this to meet the sure. palate of your family. Mm. Right. Your choice. So, what so if you don't like something, food. don't add it. Yeah, make it the way your mm. kids or you like it. That's sure. right. right. Easily customizable. So let's add our spices into here. And then the binder. That's right. We're gonna. I'm we gonna, need that egg. We're gonna, we're gonna get that egg in there to make sure everything gets nice and combined. So lovely. We'll get that here. Could you use other breadcrumbs besides panko? You could, but they may get a little heavy and weigh okay, down. Okay, so your, that keeps it a little bit lighter. Interesting. Yes. Okay. okay. So we're gonna mix this up in magic of television. I've got one of these already okay. in the fridge. Okay. Oh. It's amazing and how that happens. Absolutely. <laughs> now this. <laughs> How long do you leave it in the fridge? You're going to leave this in the fridge about eight to ten minutes. Okay. Really long enough to make uh, the other thing that's coming up, which is our mango salsa. So once you have this, you got your one patty here. You're just going to take your scoop. Just ice cream scooper. Just ice cream scooper. Plain right. old ice cream scooper. I love that you're baking them and not frying them. Well, we're going to little fry. It's a little, it's a little bit of both. And to add to our Indian thing, what we're using to fry these in is ghee. And again, pan Oh, oh that's good. I know you like that, mother. Sophie. It's good. dairy free, it adds flavor, and just a really great way mm. to cook. I love the flavor. That is good. one of my new favorite things. Ghee. It's yeah. clarified yeah. butter. It's so great. Yep. So we're going to put these patties in here, and we're only going to leave these in long enough to get brown. Oh, okay. You could just great use them. Idea. Yes, and you could absolutely really just stick them in the oven yeah. if that was your preference. But uh, we're going to get these a little You just want to get them crunchy. Yeah. That's right. right. Exactly. Yeah. Long these enough. taste so wonderful. We do salmon cakes at my place. Yes. I had a question about salmon. We were talking about other Queen fish cake. that you could mm -hmm. use. Yep. Are there any particular types of fish that maybe we should limit the amount that we mm. have on maybe a weekly or monthly That's a great basis? question. That's yes. a great, a great question. question. Yes. Mm -hmm. So a couple times a month, you're okay to eat those large predatory fish. Shark, you know, soy. Swordfish, tiger. Only a couple times a month. I'll have to cut down. You will have to cut down. And that's mercury <laughs> levels and maybe <laughs> other things. That's, yeah. a, that's exactly it. Mercury levels. Those big fish eat those tiny fish. Right. It builds up yeah. that yeah. mercury. Oh, okay. okay. Outside of that, you should be totally fine. And what is that? The chart to check. Oh, yes, the Monterey, Monterey Bay, Bay Aquarium. Aquarium. Yes, yes. yes. the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Aquarium. Yes. That Seafood Watch program is fantastic. Mm. It's an app. You can go on their website, and they can tell you all of the recommendations for the best seafood to eat, okay. what to avoid. 
Mm. That sort of thing. Good really, enough. really fun. So just a few minutes on either side yep. in there. And then. Oh my goodness, look at that. How long do you leave them in the oven? minutes or so just to get them cooked They're through beautiful. and, and this is your version we've got our mango what? salsa very simple so what did you put in the mango we've salsa? got red mango we've got uh, red onion some cilantro sea salt a little bit of lime zest and a little bit of lime juice the lime juice is great. Mm -hmm. yes, it is. It's just oh, yes. really great and fresh. You have to also get in right. here and so enjoy the fruits mm -hmm. of your labor this looks Thank so you. delicious Thank you. all right Deb, give us your verdict here and mm -hmm. that says it all. <laughs> That's the answer you want. That's the answer you want. For sure. Uh, Alexandra well, would love it. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been so good. I'm going to have to thank go back you. for seconds. But don't go away because next up we have Maria Provenzano. Oh, yes. We are doing DIY milestone blankets when we come back. <laughs>